I said this in another clip, but I'm, I'm doing the clips out of order because the last part of the clip is my vlog from yesterday, and some of the, the footage, I feel like I have to put your volume very, very high to hear it. I can hear it, but I also know what I'm saying, so it could also be a thing. Um, I was vlogging on my phone, not my camera, so that's also a thing. I wanted to get some clouds out to you very fast. I was like, let me just do it on my phone and call it a day. But I think it was on my camera. I probably, y'all probably would have heard me better. I'll have better to tell the story time. I don't think I tell the story time. I got a story time to tell. Hold on, which one is that? Did I tell that one? On oh, here? Yeah. The Amazon story time, but there's another story time I had to tell. The but let me actually tell y'all right now. Then I'll get into the other clip. So, um, the other day, I'm going to talk about it. I, I say it slightly in the um, part of the clip. So, I was on a train going to church, right? Because the church we go to is a far rock away. And we have our youth convocation. You'll see that also in some clips. And a person, a young person, decided to do damn subway surfing. If you don't know what subway surfing is, and when they go outside of the, the train, in my mind, I only think of surfing as on top, but apparently they count anything outside of the train as surfing. So if you're in the back of the train, just standing there, they count that as surfing. And New York City has been getting a rise and influx of this because of social media the past couple of years. They have done this back in the day. They have done, I want to say bus surfing. I don't, you know, they used to hang out on the back, hang on to the back of the bus or ha like either stand up on the back of the bus or hang on with their bicycle or skateboards back in the day. But the past couple of years, it's been getting more crazy because kids are doing it for thrills, likes, and whatever, right? I want to say it's against the law or whatever, but at this point, if you're losing life, it doesn't matter if it's against the law or not. You're not even here to reap the repercussions of you doing it. But yes, so a child was subway surfing on the A train. I left my house initially around like 5, 40-something. I went somewhere, the pharmacy, and then I went to go get the train. And um, did I tell this? I thought I told this probably, did I? I think I told this. I told it was probably a part of it, but not the full story. Um, I went on the train, and then I... The train was going good, good. And then, apparently, not apparently, but somebody fell off the train, and they died, of course. And, of course, I feel like this might be some some resources are alive. Most, honestly, most of them are honestly, like, teenagers. It's, it's, it's some adults in there, too, like, grown people, like... I think one guy was, is he 50 something? But he died this year. And hopefully YouTube doesn't flag these words that I'm saying. But this is basically news. Um, and then in the next train after that, somebody was assaulted. So they wasn't going to cancel the trains at first. But I know the reason I found this out, I'll tell you back later. Um, so in the next train after that, a person was assaulted on the train, which New York City's assault rates are getting higher and higher and higher and higher. It's crazy. So they stopped the trains. I had to get off. I got off at the um, I'm gonna say the Howard Beach. Was it after Howard Beach? But it, I got for the where it's the air train for the um, for the airport. That's what I got. Off. Sorry, I had to take off my alarm. So I got for that stop right. After I got off at that stop, I had to figure out how to go to the train. I had to go back. I think three stops, I believe, to get for the stop. Was something fifty two, fifty three, something like fifty five, something like that. Some train, some bus. Instead of taking one. Or two trains. I gotta take. I took uh, one train and two buses to get to church. Mind you, I told you what time I left my house, right? I got to church after nine o'clock. It took forever. When the, the train had stopped, I wasn't over the bridge yet. So I made it even longer, and I didn't know my. And the thing about it, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this. Usually, I have my phone stuck to my hip. I mean, stuck to my hip like glue. Usually anywhere I leave my house, anywhere I'm in my house, my, my phone is usually in the same room as me. It's always with me. This day, I left my phone. And my smartwatch is not smart watching because I took off the payment plan trying to save some money because, you know, times is hard, right? Actually, I need to call T-Mobile to get hooked up back to a damn plan because I could have been able to call somebody to give me a damn ride. Um, so, yeah. So I left my house without my phone saying, you know what? I don't need my phone. I could be okay. This is out of, from years... I mean, for years, I haven't left my phone. And this year alone, I left my phone home twice. And I'm like, out of all days to leave a phone, girl. So, I'm on the train. I'm like, girl, out of all days. I literally told myself, out of all days to leave your phone, you live in the phone today. Because I could have got, there was two vans. And most people in my church, even though I don't like to call people, but I would have called them 
calling for this because I'm like, me and Katani was out in the middle of nowhere on our phone. God really sent some people to come help me. God, all I do is ask questions of all people and will help me get there. And because all I remember is what is Beach, I got Beach Channel 25. And I know, long I know that, like, I long I know my style, but I'm good. But um, because I, I never took the, tr the bus there before, I didn't even know, like, obviously a bus probably goes there, but I just never took it one. Thank God, when because it was a tent service, when I got the bus, I could hear the tent. But I was like, I still asked the lady who was with me, I'm like, do you know where to go? Da, da, da. And she told me where to go, and I got off right there. So, um, it was crazy. So, when I got off the, the tr when I got the train to go to the bus, it was a lot of people there because a lot of people just, you know, like, you know it was going crazy this. We got in a select bus. We didn't get a ticket because um, usually when problems like this happen, they're supposed to give you or like a schedule or whatever. They're supposed to give you a ticket from the train. They never gave you a, a ticket. Now, I didn't have a limited metric car, so I just, you know, I just go in the bus like everybody else did. And the bus driver knew because they knows um, or a lot of people from the A train is not going to be having that because, you know, so they didn't say nothing about not, you know, usually, honestly, in select buses, you just walk in anyway. But um, I see the wife from the A train take, get a ticket because it's like it's not our fault this happened, and thank God it was at night, so it's not like a ticket person gonna be checking tickets as much. I never seen a ticket person check at night, but anyway, it could happen. But it just didn't happen this night, thank God. I can't afford no money for something that you know y'all yeah, should give us tickets for, but whatever. I digress. Anyway, we on the, the bus. The first bus was a cool, cool run. It took a long time, but it was cool. The second bus, because if you know select bus is like basically a one and a half bus, right? The next bus I think was a 22 or 23, so I think it was 22, right? It's a smaller bus. It's a regular, regular size bus. It was crazy. The girl was like, you better, you know, it's probably going to be packed around this time of the night. It's going to be like, people going to be on a bus. Like, usually, at certain times, the person will bus you on. It's not as packed or as packed, so depending on what day, you know, whatever. And the p people who I was basically following, I told them I'm going to follow you. I don't know the hell I'm going. They ended up taking an Uber because it was like, there was three of them and a little kid. So, frankly, four, but one of the people was a child. They ended up taking a lift home and it took them $16 to get home. I know because I, I was listening to them. And they said, this is a lie. And I'm like, yeah, it's going to be, it's a, it's a lie. I was like, if I had a, if I had my phone, I would have been either call somebody to pick me up or just take a lift over because it, it, it didn't make sense, right? Um, so, but I got to have my phone. I kind of have to follow people and follow God because <laughs> I'm like, I, I, every, every minute, except I was like, I should go home. I should go home. But I wanted to get a word from God from the preacher. And I was like, oh, and I got there in time for the preacher, like literally in time for the preacher as he started. Um, when you want to be locked up with God, that's what happens, right? So we got on this bus and I was like, the girl told me was, the bus probably going to sound like a Tanya. Because even though my daughter, she loves reading books. So she always have a book in her hand. And it annoys me sometimes. But like, just, just, I'm, I'm happy that you love to read. I love that you love to read. But things are happening around you. And you're missing it because your face is in a book. Also, people are writing about it, live about life, and you need to be experienced in life at this point. So, um, like, okay, we have to get in the bus. Give me a book. I put a book in the book bag. I was like, "Cause I can get up. We got to be a New Yorker here." <laughs> and we was just all squished in the bus when the bus finally came. Because the girl told me where to stand. I knew where to stand. Okay, okay, in front of me and not behind me because, you know, people are savages in New York City. But you always got to be a savage yourself just a little bit. Um, I'm not a savage, and I think I need to get some of that savagery back. But, you know, this is what it's trying to be. Trying to use to get the fruits of the spirit, you feel me? And we got in the bus. So it was a Haitian bus driver. <laughs> it was a Haitian bus driver. And he let my people in the bus. He didn't want to move. He said, there's too many people in the bus. Now we got to move down, get out. So when he said people to get out, he wasn't closing. He wasn't opening the back. He was opening the front. People was like, why are you not, you not moving? Da, 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 da. People started cussing. People started doing everything. It was a whole, it, it escalated so fast. People were screaming. People were screaming. It was chaos. I'm glad I had my damn phone. <laughs> Sorry, because I didn't have my damn phone. I couldn't record none of this man. It got out of hand. So what, actually the person I was sitting next, standing next to, I was sitting up standing in the bus was the MTA worker, and I asked him, like, you know, what's going on with the, uh, I already knew about the, the subway surfer thing, but he's the one who actually told me about the assault and things like that, that's why they showed down the train, he's actually a train rider, um, driver, conductor, whatever, so the guy, the, the bus driver, he had this alarm thing that he set off, it was the whole thing, he cussing the bus, not him cussing, but people cussing the bus, like, drive the bus, if you knew it was just crowded, why the people still come in the bus, da, 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 da. and apparently this bus, this particular bus line, a bus comes every 20 minutes. So it's taking, it's taking forever. People are yelling about it. People are screaming about it. 
people are going crazy. People are hyperventilating. It was just, oh, it's like, like the whole bus has like a bunch of people, whatever. Um, this old lady started hyperventilating. She couldn't stay in the bus. People's like, open the door. People in the back can't see that the front door's open. Um, oh yeah, let me tell you, tell you this. <clears throat> he turns off the bus at one point. One point was in the dark. People yelling, people are screaming. People's like, oh my God, I got this children in here. People started opening the windows of, people started sitting on the chairs, opening the windows, little small windows above the um with windows, you know where the windows are. If you've been in the bus in New York City, I don't see probably any buses in America, to be honest. And they opened up the windows, and it was just like people screaming, like, you can't have us in here. It's too much of us. It's hot. The da 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 summer, da da da. People screaming, people are, I mean, cussing, bad word, back on front, in the back. And the people in the back was the rowdiest, bro. How because it's far from the, the, like, whatever. One person was like, I can't afford to catch another felony. I just got my charge. I don't want to do this to you. It was just crazy. And if you don't know if you live in New York, I don't know if it's up every, every state, but in New York City, if you hurt a, um, a bus driver, it's like you hurt not actual police officers. You get seven years of felony charges in jail. I'm going to say it's felony, yeah, in jail. And I know for sure it's seven years, right? People are very mindful. People sometimes are mindful. Some people sometimes are not mindful of what they do to bus drivers. The reason why this happened because a lot of bus drivers were getting attacked because they, I don't see some of these people, some of these bus drivers be just be doing too much. They don't pay you enough to do what you do. Like, you're doing too much, to be honest. I'm not saying you actually get hurt or anything about it, but these bus drivers in New York City, them fierce, they them dirty. I'm not, another thing. The women bus drivers be doing the most. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna female, I can say that. The women bus drivers are honestly probably one of the worst part of the bus drivers. <laughs> Granted, somebody's one or two men and women, but the women bus drivers be doing the most. I don't know what it is. It's like a job to serve. People just wanna get where they have to go, sis. Like, um, and sometimes I'm, I'm thinking of incidents where they even happened to me, like, bro. So, people are customer driver, they want, I mean, it was probably there for like 10 minutes not moving crazy this lady was pregnant it was just a whole thing people yelling people screaming people doing all these things and i'm like oh my god it was a hot mess i'm not gonna lie to you it was a hot mess express happening in this bus and i think the bus driver was scared at one point at one point he wasn't stopping at no stops people ringing the bell he was not stopping he was just going like when he finally started up the bus the people actually like people was too much people start end up falling out the bus people was like i can't do that to get out i can't breathe it was really bad. Somebody called 911. I wanted to not come. Um, it's a whole thing. I think he was calling dispatch too. Cause the bus goes to Mount Avenue in, in Far Rockaway. It was a whole thing. It was a bunch of black and Hispanic people on this bus. <laughs> Maybe people, most people I saw on the bus was like that. Um, it was a bunch of stuff happening. It was really, really bad. Um, I'm happy they started throwing, they didn't start throwing things until they got outside the bus. So, when the bus driver finally started up, and he started going, when the bus kind of got unloaded, whatever like that, and he's like, I don't want to move, the, like, you know, whatever. And his, I know he's Haitian, because he had a Haitian accent. He could have been from France, too, but they, they pretty much sound the same to me. Um, I know one is Creole, and one is, you know, one is French, but, you know, it's broken French, like, Jamaica in, in America, in, in Britain, like. One is broken, one is not. At that point, Americans technically speak broken English too, but they don't admit that. They technically the real English is in England, but whatever. Um, the Queen's English. Um, what else? So the bus driver's going. This the lady who was talking the whole time, cussing up a storm. Da da da. But it's not only her. A lot of people was honestly cussing. People was like, "Open the door! You can't do it!" Like people was. I mean, I don't understand. If, I don't know if you understand how I rate people were. But between the screaming, I felt bad. I was like, oh my God, I hope they don't start. Like, my worst fear is that that people start pushing so much to the front that like, Katanya got, you know, swiped up in it. But the way I had my body towards her, if anything, they have to push through me to get to her. Um, but when you have a mob, they can push through, honestly, anybody. But the way we were, if you know where the chairs are, on the, I was on the left-hand side where, like, the single chairs are. So there's, like, a barrier because it was like supposed to be two seats on that side, so it's like a part was, I don't know how to explain it. But we were in the funnel of the way that people went through brush, brush Russian people that we will get caught up in it, so that's a good thing about that. I'm gonna tell you, it's a stay in, baby, stay in. Because people are just like, I'm laughing at one point. It was just hilarious to hear them. I'm like, this is New York City, and I love it. You can't, you can't change it, right? So when the bus was starting, the, the lady got upset. As she was before. And she started smoking. I mean, smoking weed in the bus. So we're smoking the weed in the... Like, she did not care. 
I don't think we realize, realize a lot of buses have cameras in it. Everywhere at this point, majority of them, like, especially in New York City, it was a big city, they got cameras. Wait, what's this? So, when the lady got off the bus, she's like, you look, I want to do da 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 She took up, she found something, picked it up, and thank God they had that door there. Yeah, but Trevor probably would've got hit. Not probably, he would've got hit. She threw it towards, thank God nobody was there to stand up to. That's like, thank God it was a pack that a person was standing and got hit. I can't imagine waiting for a damn ambulance in this neighborhood. To come so that she threw it at the, to his, the bus driver's door. So thank God it was there to block it. But yeah, and she was cussing. It was a whole thing. And then I got on the next, I got on that bus. When I, was on the, I stayed on the bus, I got to my stop, thank God. And I got to church and that was it. But that's my, basically my short term story time. But anyway, guys, I, well, you'll see me in the next clip because it's literally, I'm putting this in the beginning of the clip because there's like a lot of stuff going on. But anyway, yeah.